Hi everyone, Joel Fillet here from Scalar Performance. Brian Bourne with Scalar Performance. And we got Randy Popes with us, who's gonna help us set up our car. Progress. That was fun. A couple times I would break harder on purpose to see what the bias was. Right. Early on, it was still an awful lot of front early on. Later on, it was pretty close to even a little, a little more in the back maybe, or close to all four locking about the same time. Thank you. actually solid except turning into one it, it really locked them up and in the other yeah, i didn't see it do that much anywhere else except maybe turn six you started to notice some body roll in the dry did you a little bit it was too oversteering so i figured since i'm feeling a little roll let's go stiffer front rather than softer rear could kind of go either way right so that's what we did i like the feel of the steering especially for an electric yeah. And you know, I can do quick corrections like when we have the snap over steer and I don't beat the steering. It keeps up. That's important, really important. Yeah, well, so I like the steering. It's, it's mechanical. It's just a small power assist, really. I like it. Good. And the yeah, brake pedal feels good. It's just we still have that over steer on. So yeah. I'm turn one, boy. Woo! So if we can get that, then we're getting closer to the goal of having a car with like lots of pedal feel. Feels pretty good. It's getting there, right? Eh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're in it because those are some pretty good catches there, buddy. Well, that's one of the things I like about electric vehicles. Right now. When you tip that throttle, boom, it is there. And that's something that I think gas car people don't understand, how quickly the torque is delivered. It makes downshifts feel positively antique. It reminds me of taking off in a jet. You get pushed back and you just... It just holds you there. It holds you there. Yeah. Yeah. We got my first test day in in the Scalar SCR1. Dealing with a lot of weather, it was wet, slowly dried out. Working on things like adjusting the brake regen, which is part of the brake bias in the brake system of this car. And I uh, did some suspension adjustments. We, we found some snap oversteer from that brake adjustment. It was interesting trying to figure out what was chassis and what was drivetrain affecting the handling. I uh, asked Joel to crank up the front bar a little bit and we went back out, but the track was dry. Car handled so much better, but there was so much more grip. We gotta have some more testing to figure that out. But the drivetrain performed beautifully, and the car is super nice to drive. Yeah, it's uh, certainly a very educational day for us too. Ra Randy's ability to jump in the car and feel things out is amazing. And so thank you so much for working on the suspension and the regen maps. There's a lot of work to do, so. Uh, thank you. It's, thank you. It's a great platform. I'm This car, I mean, I'm just waltzing up here. And even though it's a very early prototype, it's on the right path. It's been a hot minute. 
to get it to here. So thank you. A few trial and errors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just a few.